One of our last adventures of summer was a Scottish road trip to the Highland Games. We had been to the games once before in Canada, but now it was time to experience the real deal where it all began. So after enjoying a few days in Glasgow, we hit the road. Our destination, the Cowell Highland Gathering in the town of Danube. We're in Loch Lomond. First stop of the day, yeah. we've been driving, how long do you think? Maybe a half hour? Uh, a bit more, more Maybe like 45 more. minutes to 50 minutes. Yeah, and we've been seeing the lock, eyeing it out of the window yeah. for a while now. It looked we're, beautiful, so we finally pulled we're over. Tr trying to figure out an actual place to pull over, and then we mm -hmm. finally did, and then we found this nice little stretch. It's almost like this yeah. tiny little stretch of sand. Yeah. And yeah, it's been great to fly because it was raining before, mm -hmm. and it stopped just for us. So yeah, it's beautiful, but got to get back to the car and continue this road trip. Our journey took us west out of Glasgow and then north along the shores of Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. Loch Lomond is the largest loch in Scotland and probably the most famous after Loch Ness, though we didn't spot Nessie's cousin. From there we continued along the shores of Loch Fyne and Loch Eck before arriving at our destination, in the middle of a torrential downpour. Seeing as the weather wasn't cooperating, we grabbed a quick dinner in Danoon and drove to our Airbnb, which was set in an old merchant's manor right by the water. All right, Sam, what's this place behind us? This is where we stayed. This was Quite home impressive. for the night. Ta da! I think it dates back to the 1800s. Yeah, and the host was so, so nice. Yeah, we loved beautiful. our stay here. And we slept like babies. So <laughs> peaceful. Sure did. All right, time to hit so the road. This is our beast of a car. We got a giant van. It looks like we're going on tour. But I guess this was the only automatic they had. So. We took it. made it, we have arrived at the Cowell Highland Gathering. This is the main reason we've come all the way to the town of Noon. It's a little bit early actually, we're here too early because none of the events have started yet. But we noticed there's a street food section where we can sample Scottish street food. So we're gonna go in search of a snack and then it'll be time for dancing and games. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, this is a good portion. Oh, this is going to be a good portion. Oh, but they're done, Jan. Oh, but they're done, Jan. Oh, but they're done. 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 So we found a food truck called Scotland's Gourmet Kitchen and I ordered myself beef stovies. I had no idea what this was. So a food tour. Yeah, the way they explained it to me, it's kind of like a potato mash with some dry beef. It also has some carrots and it comes with beetroot and little oat cakes or oat cookies. So yeah, first time trying this Scottish dish. Let's see what it's like. It's it good? Mm. It's quite nice, yeah. yeah. I love mashed potatoes, so I mean, you could add anything to it and I'd be like, yeah, that's good. It's nice and hearty. And the beef is quite tender, not too tough. And let's add some beetroot in there. Beetroot, or maybe, I wonder if this is meant to be dessert or you just eat it with the mash. Mm. New dish and it's a hit with me. I like this a lot. And I'm going for a classic haggis, sneeps, and tatties. So let me show you yeah. which is which. Haggis over here, and yeah. that's a sheep's pluck, mm -hmm. which is um, part, part liver, liver. Yes. And then we have the tatties, which mm -hmm. are the potatoes. Yeah. And the neeps, which are the turnips. Good so idea. yeah. So, Probably the most famous Scottish dish Classic you can try. Classic Scottish food, right Wonder here. And I have to say, wonderful food to be having on on, on a day that's a little bit chilly and overcast yeah. and rainy. So, 
Oh, this is the kind of party food I need. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I'm nice. glad we found some food before the games begin. Because yeah. I think it's going to get quite busy. Yeah, this is delicious. Next, it was time to enjoy some of the events. Bike piping is an integral part of the Highland Games, with both solo pipers and pipe bands competing, and we happened to be there on the day the Cowell Pipe Band Championship was taking place, so we had to check that out. We also watched some of the Highland dancing. The Cowell Highland Gathering was hosting the Scottish and World Highland Dancing Championships, so there were dancers from around the world competing that day. Great, we've been granted access here into the trophy room, and there are some very impressive looking trophies, so we're just going to have a quick little tour. But now let's meet the man who is showing us around the Cowell Highland Games. Hi, my name's Alan Pettigrew. I'm convener for the Cowell Highland Gathering, the biggest and most prestigious games in the world. And we're here in Dunoon, in Bonnie, Scotland. And today is going to be a fantastic day. And we've been here doing these games for about 120 years. Today in the heavy events, we have six events to vie for this prestigious championship. We have the famous cowl stone, which is 14.3 kilograms. We have the 16 pound shot, the 28 pound weight for distance, the 16 pound Scots hammer, and that's this big lovely baby here. This is the original hammer, which Scotland gave to the world of international athletics. A wooden shaft, which then changed to a wire handle and used in the Olympics and World Championships all over the world. And after this event, we have the 56 pound weight over the bar for height. And then last but not least, we have the famous Till Hill Cow Caba. So we just finished watching some of the Highland dancing and the bagpipers. And now the heavy athletics are about to begin. We're gonna watch the men and women compete. And that's happening just behind us. And we've got front row seats. So let me take you over. But enough of the huffing and puffing. I think we need some slow mo magic to really appreciate this event. Well, well, how's your morning going so far? It's going great. I think I've been really enjoying the heavy athletics. Yeah. Like the athletes are so strong, yet they're so coordinated as well. And yeah, it's just amazing to see how far they're able to toss these these different items. That they're yeah, especially that stone. I oh tried picking it up. Oh my gosh, it weighs a ton.
still continue. I can actually hear bagpipes off in the distance. But we actually need to head back to Glasgow because we have a flight to catch later tonight. Yeah. So I'm saying farewell games. Bye bye Highland Games. But it was a cool experience and it was really yeah. nice to have a local like Alan show us around, give yeah. us a bit of a behind the scenes tour. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just a great games, great event and highly recommend going if you're in Scotland this time of year. All right, let's hop in the car. So we are making a random little stop in Benmore. We're just outside Benmore Botanic Garden because we saw sheep, we saw a green field, we saw forests, a river. Now we're walking on a wooden bridge and it just looked beautiful. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think you guys have gotten a full tour of the van yet, and it is massive. This beast right here fits, I think, eight. It's three, three, two in the front. But yeah, when when they pulled this car yeah, up, yeah. we were like, it, are yeah, you we're kidding me? Like along these little, you know, Scottish narrow roads. Country roads. Yeah. It was a challenge. And then we had like basically a storm last night. So yeah. yeah I think you improved your driving skills immensely. <laughs> We were both thrilled to be treated with much better weather on the drive back to Glasgow, so we made it a point to stop and enjoy the scenery. One of our favourite stops was the Rest and Be Thankful Lookout Point. Yes, that's actually the name of the place, so we did exactly as it suggested. And that's a wrap for our road trip to the Cowell Highland Gathering. We were only there to experience one day of the events, but we hope this video gave you a little taste of what Scotland's Highland Games are all about.